When I think of the times that we deploy the uh, BioFire respiratory panel, it's in a collection of patients in whom there's some sort of diagnostic uncertainty about what the underlying pathogen is. They have uh, a clinical context of cough, fever, something that suggests that this could potentially be a bacterial infection. There's also some other factors which play into the decision that we just don't want to have them walk out of the door with a Z-Pack or put them on a course of a fluoroquinolone. We know with some flu seasons, especially some of our younger patients who are immunocompromised, they sometimes take the hardest hits, and especially our elderly patients who are chemotherapy patients, they take very big hits, so to miss a diagnosis of the flu could be potentially lethal. We've been using the RP2 panel since it came out, and we found it to be very sensitive, very accurate uh, detection of the, the targets that are on it. So I think getting an answer within an hour is something that's really powerful to clinicians. It gives us actionable information right away. So I think the speed of the test is the most important thing. It's also extremely reliable, whether it be a positive test or a negative test, it's a trustworthy answer and you get it, like I said, really quickly. Patients really want to know what exactly is going on when they come to the emergency department and oftentimes we can only give them kind of a vague response of, uh, you know, you have a virus or we think you have pneumonia uh, and not anything more specific than that. The BioFire uh, testing really helps us be much more specific in our um, diagnosis. We're able to tell them exactly which virus or which bacteria they have. They trust that, okay, if we have that result, we're probably able to treat them more precisely as well. The BioFire assays personally affect me as a physician, especially respiratory panels. It saves so much um, over usage of antibiotics. We send people home all the time saying like, oh, it could be possibly bronchitis. Oh, it could possibly be pneumonia. Here's some azithromycin and hopefully you do a little bit better. But now that I know that's a viral cause causing their symptoms, I prevent overexposure to antibiotics and our bacterial resistance, which is a big thing that's going on now. So it definitely helps me in terms of that. So moving that, that diagnosis from two to three days to an hour is a game changer in terms of patient safety. I mean, it's a no-brainer to get somebody off the incorrect antibiotic and on the correct antibiotic, and perhaps even home sooner and safer.